So good morning students. Welcome for second PC students. So we will have a grammar continuation. Huh? The chapter is on pairs of words. Pairs of words. That means there are two similar words and they have different meanings and how to use them, where to use them. Therefore, pairs of words. Textbook only is there in our book. And second is word pair. Word pair is different from pairs of words. Word pairs means, of course, it is not here in your uh, uh, textbook. I am adding it extra so that you know the difference. Word pairs are different, they always go together. You can't change them, you can't change the order also. Anyway, first we start with the pairs of words. These are similar words having different meanings. These are similar words having different meanings. For example, we give uh, examples that you understand. This verse and this verse. This in your text book is there. This verse and this verse. Two words are a bit similar, but total meanings are different. This verse that means distribute. And for example, salary is dispersed. Among the staff, they disperse and the crowd dispersed over. So, different uh, meanings are there. For example, the manager dispersed the salary to the employees. Second is the crowd dispersed when the police arrived. Next is ascend. Next is 
Marconi invented the radio. That means he found out the radio. Then alter and alter. This is alter. Table. Actually, there is a table on which the prize is offered, and that is called as an altar. Okay. This is altar. That means to change something. For example, your pant is very tight. You are altering that. That meaning. For example, the prize is offered at the altar. King of Monaco wanted to alter the sentence. Change the sentence. Affect and affect. See, both are same. Meaning is the same. But only that this is a verb and this is a noun. This is a verb and this is a noun. When you have to fill up a verb, go for this. When it is a noun, go for that. Both are having the same meaning. For example, rains affect the crops. Rains affect the crops. Here, the effect of rain, no formula, the effect of rain was alarming. Then, complement and complement. Complement, complement. B. 
abate and I had explained already. So abate means it became less reduced. Second answer. Columbus slash America discovered, invented. So here he discovered America. This is a monument belonging to the dash period, ancient old. So here ancient. So only this much is given in your book. So, but there are many words which have a similar pattern. Now I will you. speak something about word pairs. That is pairs of words. Next is word pair. See word pairs are different kind pairs of words. They are usual and accepted combination of words which cannot be reversed. Which cannot be reversed. See for example if I say up and down. This is a word pair. They go together. You can't say down and up. You can't change that. And that is a speciality of word pairs. These are different words. Pairs of words. And word pairs is not in your text. We had in the previous old uh, textbook, we had this chapter. That is why I want to text so that you know both. You know, the difference between both. So, word pairs, I give some examples. See, for example, now and then. You can't say then and now. Now and then. Here and there. To and fro. You can't say fro and fro. To and fro. Up and down. Hue and cry. Pay and use. Then hair and hearty. In your uh, previous graph, in second view, we had, uh, I mean, uh, two, three marks for this, and uh, word pairs. But in your, in your present syllabus, it is not there, but you must know. Then, time and again. <coughs> then, try and error. Time and time, slow and steady, so you can't change the order, you can't say steady and slow, you can't say time and time, no, it has to be like this only, then hit and run. hit and run. give and take, So these are some of the examples uh, of word pairs. And these are more. Pick and choose. Pick and choose. I mean, uh, tooth and nail. Tooth and nail. That's what special meaning for everything. Forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Pros and cons of any matter. Pros and cons. Uh, plus and minus. Advantage, disadvantage. Body and soul. That means totally. You must be involved totally. When you are in the classroom, you must be body and soul. Then, flesh and blood. Again, here, flesh and blood. Somebody, is, so somebody, somebody says that he is dead, but again he appears in flesh and blood, physical presence. Then, hair and hearty. I will give you. Hair and hearty means quite healthy. Hair and hearty, healthy. Then, hue and dry, making a lot of, of uh, the same. Small matter making it a big issue. That is hue and cry. A lot of uh, word pairs are there. So I will give you a homework. All of you, please go for 10 pairs of words, similar words. You can find out your own. And then 10 word pairs. A lot of word pairs are there. Up and down, now and then, here and there, two 
one flow uh, in and out. So please uh, write down at least 10 10 so that it increases your vocabulary. And so you neglect it, but don't do that. As I told you, when I take grammar, you must have a notebook in the hand. And you must take down what I am giving. But uh, see, textbook gives nothing. A small page about 10 exercises, 10 uh, sentences. And so we have to give more and more. Particularly in the next class on next all words, I will dealing with very important chapters. What is passive voice, reported speech and all. Eh? Till now what I have done, your exam point of view, only pronouns will be coming. Annual exam. Remaining things we will ask in the test and uh, other exams, uh, but in final exam, only pronouns will be there. If then we go to idioms and phrases, then we go to passive words, reported speech and all that. So, this is a small revision to a small chapter. This is pairs of words. Two words having similarity but different meanings. Disperse, disperse. Ascend, ascend. Course, course. You can't make out different pronunciations, both are same. Abet, abet. Discover, invent. Alter, alter. Affect, Effect, compliment, compliment, advice, advice. Here word pairs. They are natural combinations of words which cannot be reversed and they go together. Now and then, can't reverse. Here and there, to and fro, up and down, hue and cry, pay and use, hail and hearty. Time and again, prior and error, time and time, slow and steady, hit and run, give and take, short and stout. There are many more, huh? you try to find out some more and at least tell you right. See, vocabulary is individual's own interest. Do not simply come. And your vocabulary will improve when you go for higher studies, huh? if you have got a good vocabulary. You can give very good presentations, you can give very good uh, debate, this thing, wherever you go, if you have vocabulary only, you can do better. So the present generation everywhere, they don't bother about your how many marks you have scored. English have got 19 marks. But if you can't space speak properly, they will send you out. I had an example, some about 10 years back, some students uh, from JMIT, they were uh, on campus interview, they were selected by a good company. But when they went there, they were very merit students. They were not uh, successful in their interview. They could not speak properly. And they all came back. They will give you time, 15 days time will give you, or one month time will give you, won't come back in good English. So one of my girls, the father was my friend, he came to me, sir, do something. Give me whatever books you have. I said, uh, taking the books uh, will not help. You can't read pronunciation or learn. You can't do that. So you have to come to me. So they came for about 15 days together. Then I gave them a lot of coaching about that, how to speak properly. And what I am telling is, your vocabulary and pronunciations are very, very important in the present generation. Your grammar, your English marks are not much, they just keep it over here. Okay, you are eligible. Uh, but whether you are able to communicate, whether you are able to express, See, some persons will use the same words again and again. But a man who has got vocabulary, he will use beautiful words, different words suitable to particular situations. So please uh, follow me, whatever I tell you, please follow. Those who have interest, do what I am telling. And when I come back, I will check out some of the things which I told. Okay, thanks.